Hi, this is Debbie. Welcome back. I hope that you're doing great. I'm going to do a little um, current favorite um, makeup products and then um, soon I'll be doing a current uh, skincare favorites. So let's get started with the what I'm wearing on my lips. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and these are the uh, liquid lipsticks and this is in the color Catherine and I'm going to put myself in a little bit so you can see looks like that there you can see like a true color it's sort of a pinky rust more of a rust color and it is something that I did not have in my collection I don't really tend to go towards rusts or browns but I thought that this would be nice because it does have a little bit of like a pinkish tone to it and I really do like it I like it because it dries to my lips but yet I don't feel it on and it doesn't transfer I can go through eating a meal and I it's not like all over like my cups and stuff now my first drink like I just put some reapplied some on and I put some I drank out of my little cup here and it did transfer but it hasn't dried yet once it dries it leaves a nice stain on your lips and it doesn't feel real dry and that's great because for me I get real dry dry lips this is one of the products that I have been using for my lips and I use it a little bit for my cheeks too this is by milk and it's a newer company uh, Sephora has it and I don't know where else um, I think you can buy them on milk.com probably this is their like two-in-one stick and let's see if I can read it it's the lip and cheek and the color is perk and it's a really pretty peach it's very light Hope you can see that and I just kind of put it on the tops of my cheekbones and it's turning towards my mirror here and then I just blend it in and it gives a little not to, there's no glow to it but just a little sheen which I like and I also use it on my lips uh, it feels like remarkable when I first put this on my lips when I first opened my um, this was birch box when I first opened my birch box my lips just felt awesome another product that I received from a birch box and fix my blouse here <laughs> sorry was this uh, benefit gimme brow and this is the sample size I really like this and when this is done it's got really tiny little brush for your hairs on the eyebrows when I'm done with this I which is almost soon I'm gonna get a full size because I really like this I don't have to go through a big long production to get my brows to look nice um, I'm fortunate enough that I didn't go through the stage where I tweeze the heck out of my brows and now don't have any I have pretty thick brows but you know with age I'm starting to lose a little bit throughout so this does a great job at just kind of adding a little more texture making them a little tiny bit more darker and for reference this is in the number three which is probably like a like a medium brown it's sort of hard to tell in the camera but that's what I think it is all right another product that I like a lot and I like to keep it in my purse for sort of touch-ups and I don't really get shiny but I'll get a little sweaty and sometimes I get like a little tiny shiny like right around here and I love using the bye bye pores I just keep it in my purse and it's the compact one so it's not doesn't fly all over the place of course it comes with the little sponge and I really like the sponge it's very good quality reminds me of the sponges that come in MAC products which I like a lot not the MAC product well the sponges anyway um, I just keep it in there and if my pores are starting to show a little bit too much or I'm getting a little sweaty or maybe even a little shiny I just kind of dab on and off I go so this I keep in my purse and I've been really liking it okay a product that I'm late to the game for um, and I've heard a lot of, um, about this for the last couple months is the butter bronzer by Physicians Formula uh, a lot of people have been talking about this and 
I thought to myself, oh, okay, bronzer, I've got, you know, a few, what's the big deal? So, uh, I think it was CVS was having a sale on Physician's Formula, and I purchased one of these. And this is in the color, is that a color? No, bronzed, or bronzer? No, it doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a color on here. But anyway, I purchased it and I opened it up and I really like the texture. And I usually hate the brushes that come in the little thing in the back, but this is a sponge and I really like the way it works. Normally, I will use like um kind of a smaller rounded sp brush like this. But when I just don't feel like grabbing it or I put this in my purse for kind of touch-ups, I'll use the sponge and it works really nice. I love the smell. It just reminds me of the beach without sand in my toes. <laughs> so the butter bronzer, I approve. Love it. Okay. I'm going to get confused with my products here. Okay. Uh, let's talk about some blushes. I have two here to show you. One is a oldie but goodie. It's the MAC Melba. I've had this for a while. Can you still see it has the old packaging? Really like this. It's a nice, just, I don't, I don't want to say plain blush, but just a, you know, every day, if you want to kind of, you know, jazz it up a bit, put some like nice highlighter over it, but it's just really perfect. And I think it's perfect for any type of complexion if you I think you know like if you have um, warm tones or cool tones this just looks really nice love it another one that is a newer one to me is by it cosmetics and it's their CC radiance ombre blush and this is in the color coral flush and that's what I'm wearing now this is beautiful I love the way this goes on and the way it feels so creamy that is the color if you can see the lights are kind of bright and that's how it looks on the cheeks I don't want to put any more you have to be very light-handed when using this though because um, if you let go to town with it you're gonna look like a coral clown <laughs> but it's very nice another blush and we'll go on to something else my Clinique Ginger Pop is another one that I just love so much. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. I purchased this probably the first week that they came out. I really love the color. Um, a lot of people talk about the NARS um, Orgasm Blush as being the best peach, and I find this is better than that one. The NARS Orgasm on me doesn't really show up, and I have light skin. You would think it really would. I mean, I can go to town with that and I just don't see it, you know, but this, it's such a soft, peachy ginger, it's just really, really pretty, really like that. And it's really small, so you can just put it in a small size makeup brush and off you go, makeup brush, makeup bag. <laughs> All right. Um... I don't usually use a lot of powders, and if I do, I use them very light-handedly. But there is a powder that I can use as a foundation on days where maybe I'm just going to the doctor or I'm, you know, going for lunch, and I really don't want to put a full face of makeup on, but I do want to have a good coverage. And that's the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten, and I use this in Fair. Now, I bought this maybe about three years ago but my mistake was I bought too dark of a color and I didn't really like it so I, I think I gave it to an aunt of mine um didn't get to my mom's so it was probably one of my aunts and you know when I'm my merry way well then for some reason I was at Nordstrom Rack and there was a really pretty kit and it had this in there so I bought it started using it and I really like it and then recently um I don't remember what magazine but it was online that I heard that this was one of the products that was really good if you have rosacea. So, you know, I'm really happy using it. Now, these are baked powders, so they're very creamy and they don't feel dry on my skin. Um, they don't irritate me. Um, 
there's not really a scent and I really like how it has like the dark and the light so it's not like a flat color I use this as a powder foundation and I also use it to put over my liquid foundations uh, when I do that I usually just do it in the t-zone and off I go really really like it like I said my color is um, fair another thing that I've been getting into lately are stick cream eyeshadows the first one that I bought a while ago was by Laura Mercier and this is I think it's plum yes it's plum these are so beautiful it's pretty dark there these are so beautiful to use as a base for eyeshadow or just as a nice dark or light wash of color. They're very creamy and they stay for hours. Another one that I really like is, um, did I bring it out here? Oh, uh, Mally. I bought a kit from her and she had one and this is the Shadow Stick Extra. Now this is a lighter color. It's in the color trying to see if I can get away I'm not putting on my readers but I'm gonna have to for this one that's okay right okie dokie all right this is sand drift packaging is really pretty all silver and it's very very creamy you can see that right there you can even use these two together put this like on the the movable lid and put this in your crease just put a tiny bit and kind of build up when you use a darker color because I find that the sticks when you put them on they really go on you know they're you don't have to be going like that um, two other ones that I received in different um, beauty subscri subscriptions one is the Loke uh, I think it was a collaboration with Tati and this is the color smoke screen and it comes in a regular pencil that you have to sharpen that's the only thing that I don't like about that this is really pretty it's a very pretty gray oh, knocking things over and this is trash trash teak it up there and this is a green color it's the aspen pine And that's right there. And these cream shadow sticks, they're just great. Once you put them on your lid, you blend them a little bit, and they just stay on for hours and hours. You need like a makeup off remover to take these off. Okay, um, got that, got that. Uh, let's talk about mascara two mascaras that I've been loving the first one was really a big surprise to me it was um, Mally's pretty perfect lash defining mascara I don't know if this is um, being sold in the stores yet it was in a today special value on QVC and it was some products that she was just starting to bring out um, I'm not sure if this is in the store yet but you can check it out and I just love how this just like stretches that's the brush it stretches my eyelashes and just makes them look wonderful and then I am still using my Mac extended play lash I really love this for bottom lash or to top off any mascara on the top this is not waterproof but it doesn't smudge it's it has a little wand which is great for bottom lashes or for someone if you have smaller eyes or you know tiny lashes this would be really great this I think is like my third tube I really like it a lot and I just need a tiny drink of water so sorry about that okay let's talk about the concealer that I have been using and I really like this is the um, Clarins Instant Concealer, and I have it in the color 1. When I first bought this, I honestly thought, mm, no big deal, but I really do like it. It works really nice for underneath your eyes, 
works really good on if you have um, you know, pimples or little spots that you just want to cover. It's very smooth and creamy. I'll show you. I like to shake the bottle. It's sort of the consistency of of like um like a foundation. See how that's so sorry about that finger. It's very smooth and it blends so nice. And it's got great coverage. Great, great coverage. I have used about half of this bottle and I really like it. I will repurchase definitely. Now, as far I should have brought like a tissue or something with me. I don't have my tissue box. Here's tissue. I just want to wipe off that concealer before I get it everywhere. Okay. Just a couple more things and then I will let you go because I've been taking a lot of your time. Um, all right. Last thing I'm going to show you, actually, yeah, there's two more things. This is a product that I found at TJ Maxx. Now, I've heard of these maybe about three, four years ago, um, maybe longer. It was one of the first time, not the first time, around when I first started my channel, which I think will be next month and it will be um, six years, something like that. This is the Clean Sweep Makeup Brush Pad. It's a tin and you open this up and it has one of those like a Brillo pad and it's amazing you, forgive me because mine is dirty I need to wash it you just wash it in the sink with some nice soapy water let it dry put it back into your tin after you use you you use <laughs> after you use a color any color light dark and let's say you want to use this brush again go in here and you just go like that the color deposits into the brush and you have a clean brush fabulous I love this I purchased this at um, TJ Maxx and I have a backup because I just I think it's great I think it's great and you know you could take it on to travel let's say you forget all your brushes and you have maybe one you can use that you just keep cleaning it with with the clean sweep and then as I said one more but it's really two I have seen this elf um, HD under eye powder for a long time and I thought okay I've tried elf products before some I like some were bust and I didn't like them like everything right I had this brush the flawless concealer brush for quite some time and I used it with other um, powders to you know conceal to help conceal got a little water on that to help conceal um, my under eye got to get those words out right so I was in CVS because they sell elf now or at least by me they do and I thought I'm gonna pick this up this is incredible it works like an expensive powder and I think I paid I don't know if these were like three or four dollars um, I probably should have put a little tape there when I first open it so the sifter is not all the way open, but it's still not a great mess because as you can see, I, well, maybe you can, I have a lot of powder out there because I shook it. When I opened it, it didn't go all over the place. Really, really like it. It doesn't settle, doesn't make my under eyes look older than they are, and you know, as far as like settling, you know, people talk about products settling into lines. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. There is no product out there as far as makeup is concerned that you will put and if you have lines, it won't it won't settle a tiny bit. Now, if you set it right away, it's going to look the best. If you don't set it, you're gonna have those lines but you just take your finger and you just press right there and those lines go away or keep this in your purse use another little brush or use this Oop, almost dropped it and just touch it up I mean really such a great product for the price this was like three bucks this was like three bucks six bucks and I have like this great system one more thing I just want to show you because I think it is so cute the other day I was getting some coffee and a couple donuts at Krispy Kreme with my husband and I noticed they had a little container of lip balms and I asked the girl you know are those just regular and she said no they taste like 
you know, the original Krispy Kreme donut, the, like the, the regular glazed, you know what I'm talking about. So my husband bought me one and it smells and it tastes like you're eating one of the Krispy Kreme donuts. Now, if you're a person that you can't be around stuff like this because it'll make you want to have want that donut and you don't want to have it, then don't pick it up. But if you're like me, that it just kind of curbs the little taste that you have, the little sweet tooth, I, next time you go for a cup of coffee or donut, see if they have these lip balms. They're like 98 cents. They're very nourishing. I would put it on now, but I have my um, liquid lipstick on. And... I just really like it. I've used it like overnight. I've used it in the middle of the day and it has a really, it just, the scent smells like they're glazed donuts. Yummy. So there are some of my, well, my current favorite beauty makeup items, whatever you want to call them. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've spoken about, please leave me a comment down below or send me a private message. Um, and also, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier in this video or the last video, I need some more questions for my question and answer video. So if you have any questions about me, you know, within reason, please jot it down and, um, I won't mention names, you know, if you don't want me to. And, uh, then I have enough for my Q&A video. So I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. And also happy November.